Good afternoon, my name is Art Signs, and this is a video on how to set up a transit level. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Pro Castillo and Duke Cross Construction for uh, lending me the, the equipment that I have here in front of me in order to do this. Um, so first of all, this is our transit level. Um, the nomenclature of transit level is real simple. This is the eyepiece. This is your directional finder. On this side, you have your focusing knobs. And down here, you have your uh, uh, leveling knobs. If you look here, there is a leveling bubble. And the idea is once you set this up, to place that bubble inside the black circle. Okay. This is our tripod. Tripods come in two different types. They come in wood and aluminum. This one is aluminum. This is our grade stick. And this is the, this is the instrument that we use in order to measure um, our measurements and let us know exactly where we're at uh, from uh, the actual uh, positioning of our transit level to what are, we, what we are going to measure. This is a torpedo level and our torpedo level sometimes sits on top of our tripod. As you can notice here, there is a bubble that goes there as well and the idea is to get the bubble in between the circles for your tripod to make sure the tripod is level for the base. Okay, so our first job is to get our tripod out. You notice the latches here on the sides. This is where we extend the tripod out so we can put our level on and put our base. We lock the position, the uh, levels in base and we set it in front of us. Okay. We place our level on top of there to pretty much get it level as possible as we can. We do that by lifting and raising one side to another. And if you can tell from here, our tripod is now level. You go both directions. You notice the bubbles in between the black lines. That means our level base is level, which makes it easier for our tripod. We then take our transit level and we affix it to the bottom of the base of the transit level and the base of the tripod with a, uh, the screw here, the affixing screw here. So we place it on top. Pretty much match the pattern that's on there. And we tighten it down. Okay, the idea is to set the level at a eye level base so you don't have to go, go over up on your tippy toe so you can get a, a better reading. Okay. So, but seeing how I'm shorter and I can't see the level, I have to bring it down a little bit. Again, I'll take my tripod. My level here and make sure that we're level and we are okay the next thing we do is that we come over here to the level itself and with the screws we move the level around and that pretty much will get us level so now that you have your tripod level you turn it as such, to see, make sure that your bubble is still in the center, which it is. The next part of this video is where we do our actual measurement. And this is done by taking the grade rod, extending it out. Usually the first three would be good. And holding it. Now, it, this is a two-man process. One that's going to read the meeting, the readings, and the other one's going to hold it. So if I was to come over here, and I was trying to shoot the grade, I would have a an assistant help me by holding this grade rod. Now hold the grade rod for me, please. 
ma'am, my camera, the lovely Miss Sissy Shines, my wife. top there is a directional level if you look through it you can guarantee where your level is at with your focusing screw you bring where you bring it into where you can pretty much see where you're at there are crosshairs in between and the eye level and the way this reads, that the transit level itself will come here with the crosshairs and wherever you're at is your reading. Now, a grade, a grade rod is measured in tenths. The feet are the same. So in the red are the feet. In the black are the tenths. And in the small hash marks, or hundreds. If you come in focus a little bit closer, you see on the bottom and top of the hash marks, those are hundreds. And you read it, so you would read, if you crosshairs would hit here, it would be three, one, three feet, tens, and hundreds. So it would be 31, one. So it would be three feet, 11 is what you would read on that. <coughs> the idea um, to do this is very simple. You place your level, your transit level where you're at. You rate your grade rod where it is affixed. You take that number plus the number that is already marked on a grade stick which surveyors would come out beforehand and do, and you add those two numbers. This gives you the actual height of your transit. Now let's say we're going to measure a building that would be on the other side. You would turn this to the side. You would shoot where the grade rod would be at your building or your other, your other grade stick, and that would be your, what your measurement is minus the actual height of your transit level and it will give you your actual reading. And then from there you can determine whether you need to dig down, make a fill or make a cut or leave it as it is. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not much else. It's really kind of simple with a lot of practice, uh, especially leveling your transit out. Um, Anybody can do this. It's not uh, rocket science. The, the, the addition and the formulas that you use are simple as well. Um, I hope this video helps. I hope it's simple enough that everybody can understand. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave any comments in my box if I could have done something better. And uh, with that, I'll say thank you. And again, thank you to Perfil Castillo and Ducross Construction for lending me the equipment to do this.